Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video, as you can see from the title above, on the little black dress, more commonly known as the LBD. Uh, there are a couple of reasons why I want to make this video, the first one being because I believe that the little black dress is a staple in every woman's wardrobe. It is, um, if you get one that's very simple, it's very versatile, it can be used for many occasions, can be dressed up, dressed down, etc. Um, and black is a universal color that I think looks amazing on everyone. Um, secondly, um, I've been getting requests to do a video on how to style a maxi dress, and um, there are countless videos on this already, and lots of images and whatnot, and I think that the basics of how to style a maxi dress are established already, you know, wear a blazer, wear a belt, etc., but I want to do one that was a little bit more fun. And since I have a black maxi dress, I thought I would incorporate it into this video. And so at the end, there are going to be four uh, outfit ideas that are kind of different, uh, that I think are fun, and I hope that you like them. The third reason is because I recently did an essay on Coco Chanel and on two of her most staple pieces, I guess. Um, the little black dress and the jersey suit. And so that is kind of, an, again, another reason why I want to do this video. I thought it would be a perfect time. And yeah. If you want to just go watch the fashion section and just like the actual outfits, then I'll put an annotation somewhere up here. Um, but I'm going to give a little excerpt about Coco Chanel and about the little black dress right now. And I'm going to try not to talk too much. And I know I can get carried away on subjects like this. But if you want to hear more, uh, then I will be putting a little bit more of um, information on my blog, valleyandpinkroses.blogspot.com, for my essay. So if you would like to go and check that out, then I would love it. Gabrielle Chanel began her career in the fashion industry as a milliner, which is basically a hat maker. People would then often compliment her on her, you know, very nice outfits, very, you know, sleek, elegant, sophisticated, very just simple outfits, and um, she said that she owed her fashion career basically to this one just very, you know, simple sheath that she wore because it was cold. Um, and so she began her career as a couturier, and she became instantly a success, as well as World War I uh, from 1914 to 1918. So uh, during that time, a lot of fabrics were rationed, and um, she kind of used that to her advantage to use different materials to create her outfits, and she was essentially one of the first, or I would say the first to use jersey, which was used prior for men's underwear um, for actual clothing. Then in 1926, she was the first to actually popularize the little black dress and make it, you know, a staple, a go-to outfit or um, piece for, uh, you know, casual occasions for formal events, etc. Before that, it was more so used just for. Um, morning in church, but then, you know, after her it became kind of like the go-to dress. Uh, she was in an opera and uh, she had seen women in like really gaudy, you know, flashy colors and she said, I need to dress all these women in little black dresses and so thus she created her first. It was dubbed the Ford dress in 1928 by Vogue magazine because essentially kind of carry the same, um, outcry, not outcry, but popularization that the Ford car during that time had done as well. All her pieces are very, you know, not shapeless, but they kind of were just very simple and pure and not much, much embroidery. And during that time, there were still, you know, the corsets and the garters. And so women slowly started to transition to her type of clothing because they didn't want the restriction of, um, you know, the garters and, you know, all the undergarments and she wanted women to feel good in what they were wearing and not have all the restrictions and have the natural shape of a woman's body and as well she wanted to revolutionize fashion which she very much well did in the sense that she wanted people to see fashion or clothing as making someone look good and styled well rather than she be showing you you know showing others how well off you were with the you know abundance of jewelry on you um, which essentially was the case, you know, prior. People would wear, you know, lots of jewels and lots of, like, you know, embroidery and big poofy dresses to show that they were really well off and they had all the money that they in the world to spend on this dress. Um, but she kind of changed that in the sense that she wanted women or everyone to see 
clothing as just, you know, how you look and elegance and you don't need a lot of jewelry, less is more, she would say. Um, so yeah, if you want to hear more about that, I was going to like go on another tangent, but you can go check out my blog. Um, so I have like a couple of little black dresses that I own that I'm going to be showing you and kind of how I would style them and then at the end there's going to be four different ways that I style a max dress. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. This first little black dress is from Jo Fresh. It's actually my mom's and she thought it was too short so she gave it to me. It's a little big but I still wear it for more of those business casual, uh, more sophisticated times that I need to wear a dress as such. And here I'm just pairing it with a J. Crew cardigan. For that very elegant look. The second one is from um, the Miley Cyrus Mac Azra collection uh, from Walmart a while ago and I love it because it's definitely one that can be dressed up and or dressed down. Uh, I wear it a lot to school um, like this for example with just a very loose cardigan and a scarf and I think it looks really cute all together and I love it and definitely can be dressed up as well. This third one is from French Connection and I bought it I think uh, three years ago for my CJEP um, graduation that I wore underneath my gown and I love it. I love the back detailing. There's a bow and an open back um, which I think is really really uh, pretty and you know the front is very simple and whatnot but the back is very kind of like the showstopper so if you wear like a sweater it definitely can be dressed down. Uh, and this fourth one is from H&M, and it's more kind of like a wrap type dress. Um, there's some really pretty ruffles at the, the front, um, and can be definitely dressed up or down as well. So one maxi dress, four different styles. The first one is more of that kind of vintage, kind of casual look. I just have a sweater um, over top the maxi dress, and then I have a um, braided belt from American Apparel to give my waist a little bit more definition. The second look I absolutely love. It's kind of more of that 70s kind of bohemian hippie kind of look. Uh, I took the mask dress and just belted it with a vintage belt from Ralph Lauren, uh, a loose cardigan from Costa Blanca, a uh, floppy hat from Le Chateau and some fun glasses uh, from Le Chateau as well, which I, those two pieces I bought a while ago. And I think this really epitomizes kind of like the upcoming um, style of kind of like that 70s as well, which I think this look will be perfect for that. This third one is kind of reminds me of kind of like Carolina O'Hara for some reason. I think she wore something kind of similar, but I guess this is kind of like the more modern, younger version of that. It's kind of like that take on black and white as well. On top you have all your white uh, your white top and your um, uh, pearls. And what I did was I had a basic white uh, kind of um, shirt, which I kind of made into kind of like a belly top type, but obviously you can't see the belly because uh, it's a max dress. And I just really like the contrast between black and white, and it looks really sleek and elegant, and this is kind of like the max dress kind of upscale in the sense. And the fourth one is kind of reminds me of the 60s kind of uh, when they had like really eccentric kind of colors and they wore a lot of those kind of headbands and I, don't, I just thought this was really fun and believe it or not this is actually the maxi dress but I actually took half of it and I put it up and you'll show I'll show you after that I kind of take it down but I just belted it and kind of kept the color theme with pink with my headband the cardigan from J Crew and the new pumps from um, Zara so as you can see voila really cute. I love this look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you would like to see uh, my upcoming spring 2011 fashion um, outfit ideas video to come, uh, I'll probably be having a couple of parts to that uh, and I hope to um, eventually be able to film outside but if you'd like to see that then don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment, favorite, and that's about it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you, and until next time, bye!